Hi everybody, now I promise this isn't a clickbait video. I promise you that I actually really believe that this could happen. But what you do have to remember with my attitude towards um, games, and I guess life in particular as well, is I'm an optimist. I kind of believe that anything is possible if people put their minds to it. And I'm not that bothered when maybe things don't work out the way that I hoped they would. And so, of course, this video is where I'm saying, look, I think helicopters and AI, um, particularly soldier AI, so human AI, are coming to day Z. Okay, so, so what, why do I think that? And it, it's all really down to um, the infusion engine. So, as you probably know, um, Daisy runs on the Infusion Engine, or a version of the Infusion Engine, and Bohemian Interactive, the publisher behind Daisy, their uh, current armor title, Armory Forger, which is the test bed that is taking the company towards Armor 4, runs on a newer version of Infusion. Um, you could almost say that Daisy was the first test bed for Infusion. So the, the code has forked um, at some point, and they're not exactly the same. It's not like they can transfer things from one to the other. But it also means that, that it's not like things developed for Armour of Forger are on the real virtuality engine that Armour 3 ran on. Um, they're on something similar. Now, I know we've had the devs talk from the Daisy devs, you know, Adam saying... Um, you know they're not working on some things you know it isn't possible to do this but you have to remember is that the people who were in charge at beam interactive you know and and they really although i'm sure they have lots of appreciation for daisy you know armor is their baby if they ask adam to do something and give him the resources uh, and give his team the resources to do something i'm sure they could do pretty much whatever they wanted um and especially if the Armour of Forger guys and girls kind of said, hey, Adam, um, Jan, I think, is the lead developer of, um, of Armour of Forger. If he, say, he, he was there and they were they were in Bohemia Active HQ and Adam's working away on Daisy with his team in, in their offices and there's a, there's, a, there's a knock at the door and um, one of the Armour of Forger guys comes in with a USB stick and says... Um, yeah, um, I, I don't know if you're interested in this, but but we've we've got helicopters working in uh, in Armory Forger, and we, we think you might well be able to to maybe port this across to Daisy. How do you fancy doing it? And Adam, what is Adam going to say? Hmm, no, no, I don't think so. Or is he going to go? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, please. Let's have a crack at this now. This idea of cross-pollination isn't completely crazy, because as we know, coming up with a 1.19 vehicle update, we're kind of fairly sure that probably some of the tech that's behind this update will have come from the development for vehicles in Armour Forger, and that's coming over to Daisy, so to have a, a more stable system. So why isn't this possible? I think it definitely is possible. Now you now may be saying, well, wait a minute, Rob. Reforger doesn't have helicopters in at the moment. No, it doesn't. But um, Bohemian Interactive have just released their roadmap for Armour Reforger, um, telling us what to expect in the run-up to version 1.0 of Armour Reforger, and then you know Armour 4 is you know a, a couple of years down the line. And one of these roadmaps, the ground, not the ground support one, the um, air assault part, which is you know, th this could be this could be a long time off. This could be the the second half of 2022. It could be 2023. They're bringing in officially helicopters, so the UH-1H and the Mil MIMT. So you know the the famous Huey and uh, that Russian transport helicopter. So these are coming officially to Armory Forger sometime in the future, and I think that's very very exciting. Um, helicopters have already been modded into. Um, Armour Forger, and we know helicopters have already been modded into the PC version of DayZ. Um, but you know, once they develop this code, once they've got it stable, and they've got and they've got it working, who's to say they wouldn't say to Adam, "Look, when you've got a bit of time, you and your team, look, this is how we did it. This is how we got it working. We've got these great models that kind of would, you know, they would fit in with the um, 
with with the Daisy universe, well, well, why don't you have a go at putting it in? And I think Adam and his team would have a go at it. And you may well say, well, it's a bit weird. Well, I don't think it is because we've had things like the... Um, We've had the gas clouds, the toxic um, clouds come in, haven't we? The permanent ones. You've got the artillery strikes have come in. We've got the grenade launcher that's come in. There's lots of things that have been introduced into DayZ that you may well say, well, uh, th they do kind of veer away slightly from perhaps what we thought the DayZ world was all about. So with things like the artillery strikes, it's really the fact that there is definitely someone else out there. There is an organised military um, um asset whether that be an army or something somewhere outside of the daisy map that is lobbing these artillery shells in you know it's not happening in, happening by robots or anything like that so there is a world outside of daisy that has more organization than the worlds we see in chernus or livonia or any any other of the uh, the, the modded daisy map so i think it's very very possible dis despite the, if the devs say they haven't done it you know if the if the lead people at Bohemia interactive come in and they give them the resources which is being developed for armory forger there is definitely a chance that helicopters officially support helicopters come to daisy now the other thing is we talked about ai didn't we um and in armory forger the ai at the moment they're pretty dumb they are pretty pretty dumb they're nowhere near as good as the uh, the ai in armor 2 or armor 3 for example they can't drive vehicles they can't fly helicopters but in the ground support part of the roadmap, um, we are going to be getting in Armour of Forger AI that can drive vehicles and we can order them around a bit. And I guess they're going to be a little bit more clever. Now, it says it's only an on-road ability. So I don't think they'll be able to drive off-road. But, you know, if we got AI in DayZ, you know, people AI that we could spawn in on community servers... Um, that could drive vehicles as well if you wanted to i think that would be pretty amazing and again i think this would be another case of you know uh, um, adam's there he's working with his team and there's a at their office door and one of the reforger people comes in with another thumbstick and goes um yeah adam uh, jan uh, jan sent us over and he thought you might be interested in um this code for for the ai he thought might be able to use it for like roving bandits or um or soldiers or something like that what do you think just take a look at it see what you think i'm sure with the uh, with uh, your contacts um and with your ability to you have here you'll be able to get this working daisy and i think you know call me crazy call me crazy but i think that could that could uh, could well happen so i think helicopters and ai human ai are going to be coming to daisy because it's coming into armory forger um and infusion is the future of bohemian's game so even if it doesn't come into this version of daisy and i know the devs haven't said anything about switching over to the newer version of an infusion but i'm sure in a few years down the line daisy won't stay on the engine that it is now it will move on on to the newer version of infusion and then we'll see true cross-pollination of all this stuff so what do you think am i a mad optimist to believe this stuff is it crazy for me to think that people could do anything if they're given the right resources and the right and enough time? Will this ever happen? Do you want it to happen? Whatever you think, put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.